Hello bourbon and whiskey fans, I am Tim the Suburban Dad, helping dads find great bourbon. Today I'm going to do a bottle review of Larceny's Barrel Proof Batch A123. So far I've only tried one barrel proof, which was B522. Not great, a lot of heat, no flavor. I've not tried any Larceny's that I've liked. I've had a few uh, tastes of the re regular larceny and just really didn't care for it. But a lot of people seem to like it, the barrel proof, so I'm giving it another go. I'm also here to talk to you about my new rating scale, my rating system for a, a bottle when I'm reviewing it. So we'll, we'll talk about all that. As well as, one more thing, an upcoming event that I'll be doing in person. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all, the event that I'm doing, it's going to be a Father's Day whiskey tasting over at the Rack House in Cottleville here in Missouri. And all the details for that are going to be in the description as well as uh, it's on Facebook as an event as well. It's going to be Saturday, June 17th from 2 to 5. We're going to be tasting some allocated and high proof bourbons this time. So a step up from last year. It's going to be awesome. Not only are we going to have some great whiskey to try, we're going to have some food there, and some giveaways as well. You are not going to want to miss this event. Check out the link for more information. We've got Larceny Barrel Proof A123. <music> Typical price on this one now is 60 I believe. I managed to find this one at $49.99, I'm pretty sure that's the outdated price, so somebody might uh, get a talking to about that. This bottle is a blend of six to eight year old bourbons. It's uncut, non-chill filtered. Comes in at 125.8 proof. So this is the first batch to be released for the 2023 year. If you're at all unfamiliar with the, the batches, A, 123A, first one of the year, one for January, 23 for the year. So there you go. Go ahead and crack this bad boy open. Ah, there we are. Okay, so let's pour this guy out. All right, 125.8 proof. That's up there with the Booker's batches, honestly. That's up there pretty good. Now, while this is opening up a little bit, I'm gonna to talk to you about my rating scale that I'm gonna use moving forward for any bottle reviews. That way you guys have kind of a standard system to go by and for myself as well. I mean, some notes so that I don't forget. So we're gonna do four categories, rating it on the nose, the palate, in, in other words, the flavor, mouth feel, so the textural experience, drinking it, and the finish, okay? Those four things. Each category is a rating of one to five. So a perfect score would be 20. That'd be an amazing bourbon and whiskey. On the nose, uh, the low end, dull, odorless. Uh, the, the peak performance would be very fragrant and inviting. Palette would either be real weak or complex. Mouthfeel, thin and full or rich. Uh, finish, short or long. So on Larceny here, the color, color is not one of my categories because it really doesn't guarantee one way or the other how the bourbon is going to taste, but I always like to take a look. It's fairly rich looking, looks like a dark honey colored. So good, good so far, it's promising on the nose. Already there's a lot of, lot of fragrance here, so it's definitely not weak or dull. Dull or odorless, according to my notes, sorry. A lot of dark, rich caramel notes. Hmm, not a lot of fruit really, but uh, that rich, sweet, caramely brown sugar. A little bit of cinnamon. It's very sweet on the nose. I'm gonna give this nose, this is a pretty good nose, really. It's very, it definitely is inviting. I'm gonna give it a, a four, jeez. Nose is gonna be a four on this one. Let's move on to the palette flavor and see what we got there. Cheers. Very flavorful. Not weak, that's for sure. Hmm, okay. That's the first taste to get my 
taste buds acclimated a little bit. It's very warm, very strong Kentucky hug happening right here. Very caramely, vanilla, standard bourbon stuff. There's not a lot of flavors, but the intensity of the flavors is up there. It's a full flavor for sure. So complexity, I put weak at the low end for palate, complex at the, at the top. Um, complex might not be a great term as I'm thinking about it because this doesn't have to, a bourbon doesn't have to have a ton of different flavors for it to be amazing. It just has to do the flavors that it has very well, which this one definitely is doing. I'm impressed so far, guys. I historically am not a fan of Larceny, so this is coming at it with a negative bias. Already it's doing pretty darn good. Very caramely. Almost some oak starting to creep in, but it fades away quickly before it overwhelms the palate, which I appreciate. I'm not a big oak guy. I'm really trying to keep myself from splitting these ratings into decimal points, so I'm going to have to go with another four on the palate. It's pretty darn good. All right, so on the mouth feel itself, so the textural experience, does it coat your tongue well? Does it just trickle down your throat thinly, or what does it feel like? It's pretty good as far as the mouth feel. It coats the tongue pretty well, just along the top of the tongue. It doesn't really fill the whole mouth per se, but it's pretty decent. It does feel rich and vibrant there. I'm gonna do a three on the mouth feel. Not exceptional, but it's, it's pretty darn good. And then the finish, <coughs> Okay, so finish wise, at the end, just a little bit of spice that comes up pleasantly. The finish is still going. I'd say medium long finish, so that would work well with a four out of five. Wow. All right, guys, so Larceny Bow Proof. Now, just for kicks and laughs, let's add a little bit of water. See if that helps, hurts, or does nothing. Okay, so it definitely mutes the nose quite a bit. Yeah, it's a lot harder to pick up on the fragrances there, on the notes. Yeah, I don't care for it on the palate as well. In this case, water is more of a hurt than a help. It dulls some of those really great rich caramel notes and instead brings out more of the oak and not so great uh, ethanol-y notes. So it does drink a tad hot at first, 125.8 proof. But once you get a couple sips in, you're acclimated to it. It's very rich and nice. I wouldn't put any water in if you can avoid it. And if you do, just a tiny little drop. So let's see how well I can math here. Total score for this bottle on my brand new patent pending rating scale is 15 out of 20. That's pretty darn good. The weakest part of this was the mouthfeel. Uh, it was, like I said, it was good. I expect more if it's going to be a really great, great pour on that. The flavor, though, is there. It is a very rich flavor for sure. So I hope, I, I hope I'm delineating those two well for you guys. The flavor versus the mouthfeel. Flavor is great. Mouthfeel is a little average on this one. My goal with this channel and for you guys watching is to help you find great bourbon. Not waste your time hunting for stuff that is overpriced, too hard to get, doesn't taste good. This one, the A123 of Larceny, is a good one. Gets my seal of approval. Hunt it down if you can. It's a good bottle. Easily worth it for 50 bucks. Still worth it for 60, I would say. Thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe. You're not gonna regret it, I promise. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>